What's up guys, my name is Greg. I'm Dominic. And we are here with part two of Inspire Creative, where we're gonna tell you how to take good photos with your phone, but this time we're talking about how to do it with an Android. Android. Quick question, yeah. this is part two. Yes. Where was I at part one? Well, you were, you were online. Surfing the internet. That's why no one likes you, Greg. And we are here to have fun and to express the creativity that God has given us. Most of us. Most of us. All right, guys, and we're back. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into how to take better photos with your Android. And I know, I know Pastor Dom, you don't have an Android. So I'm gonna teach you and then let you take a photo of me and see how easy it is. I don't want an Android. It's okay, but today you're gonna get one. Okay. Okay, cool. You know, if you don't have an Android, you can get one at any of your local stores. Or not. Or not. So we got the, uh, the phone open, and then so right now I already have it in photo mode. So you can take photos just like we did last week, but this time we're gonna show you all the pro settings that you can only get with an Android. So first things first, you're gonna go on over to the more option. It might be a little bit different on yours. This is a Samsung, so your Google Pixel might be a little bit different, but you'll be able to find something relating to those settings. And so when you're in here for your settings, you're gonna look for the pro mode and you're gonna click on it. Welcome to the flex zone. I don't want an Android. So we're gonna jump right into the settings. It's gonna be at the top left of your screen. And then when you go into here, you're gonna see picture formats is right here. So you're gonna click on it and make sure you have the raw copies. It gives you more playroom on how to edit your photo and push it farther than what a JPEG will give you. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn that on. And then from there, same thing with the grid lines. You're gonna make sure that that's on just like last week. So now that we're in the camera, you'll see down here on the bottom, you have a whole bunch of different types of settings. So ISO, always start with the lowest number. Just remember that, start with the lowest number, and if it's too dark, then brighten that up. Shutter speed, what you wanna do for your shutter speed is try to be somewhere around one over 2 50th of a second. That's gonna give you a good amount of light coming in, but also not too much motion blur happening. So it depends on the photo you're taking, but that's a good place to start with that. And then with your aperture, which is right about here, just always keep it on the lowest setting and it just makes it easier to do anything on that. And so now, as you can see, the photo is a little bit dark. So now what I wanna do is I want to brighten it up. So how you can do that, you can use your ISO, brighten it up just a little bit until he looks perfectly lit, and then you can just take a photo. Nice shot. All the steps that we did in our last week's segment. I wasn't here. He wasn't here. He was a little bit shorter, about like this tall. Little Dominic. So you can take all the things that we did last week, you can add these settings in here, and it gives you just a little bit more control. Remember, if you want to go back to the other settings, you just press the back button, and you're back in the normal photo mode. And you can do the same exact things, click on the screen. Actually, oh, hey guys, it's a selfie. <laughs> all right, so now Pastor Dom. All right. I know that was a lot I threw at you. It was a lot. I'm gonna have you take a photo of me. Do I have to? And we might do like last week. I wasn't here. But you guys were. <laughs> All right, who can take a good photo? Brenner. I am a photographer and I took this photo. <laughs> hey, have you seen my beach ball? It's about this big. It was last seen over there. If you ever find it, return it to this guy. <laughs> okay. As you can see, Pastor Dom's elbow was in every single picture that we took. Uh? So Pastor Dom's actually waiting outside. He's gonna try again. So we're gonna go ahead and jump outside and uh, retake a few photos. So let's go.
Well, thank you guys for joining us for the Inspire Creative segment. And you can always find these segments right there on our YouTube channel. Right there. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care.